पैसा बोलता है मैं आपका फिर से स्वागत है वेलकम बैक टू पैसा बोलता है आज मैं एविएशन सेक्टर के बारे में बात करना चाहता हूँ क्योंकि गो एयर ने वॉलेंट्री बैंक डिक्लेयर कर दी है क्योंकि है और एविएशन इंडस्ट्री में क्या प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है टुडे आई वॉन्ट टू टॉक अबाउट दी एविएशन इंडस्ट्री स्पेशली ऑन अ डे वेन गो एयर हैज डिक्लेयर बैंक वाई डिड गो एयर डिक्लेयर बैंक हु आर इट्स पेरेंट्स एंड वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम second why is aviation industry as such in a big problem all the time and should you invest in aviation stocks the first and foremost reason in a market like india aviation stock should not be bought by normal retail investors who do not have any idea about the market because there are two things there is a lot of financial engineering involved of a lease and sell back deals that is basically what happens is you buy the plane and lease it back to get the cash flow and that terms can increase or decrease your profits indigo is a past master of it and its big profits are by favorable conditions on lease deals but by and large the problems on airlines are this major cost of airlines is fuel and second is manpower and lease rentals on the plane these are the three big costs today the manpower cost is manageable because there are enough pilots for a long time in india there were not enough local pilots so you had to hire expat pilots which made it very unviable but now we have enough indian pilots so that is not a big problem but in case of fuel and lease rentals both of which have to be paid in us dollars the rupee has generally weakened over a period of time and therefore the cost of lease rental and fuel keeps on going up but the elasticity of an airline is also depends whether passengers are willing to pay more if the cost of the flying increases beyond a point then people don't fly but now the rupee has been relatively stable and less competition in the field of airlines therefore you have had a long and stable run after covid in fact in recent times you have had record number of flyers but if the cost of flying goes beyond a point you will find at least domestic flying there is a big drop but you have to pay for the crude and lease rentals anyway therefore airlines are in serious trouble airlines can be run only by businesses with deep pockets when i talk extremely deep pockets and that is why you have spice jet which is seriously in trouble the promoter of spice jet is normally very close to the ruling party today and whenever the ruling party fortunes are high spice jet's fortunes are high and spice jet manages to survive if the other party comes to power spice jet will be sold to some other owner or virtually become bankrupt it's a perennially sick airline the main players in india today are indigo which is the market leader air india which has been recently bought by tatas when the government ran it it was a highly inefficient airline so you had air india air india express and then the tatas vistara go air was the fifth airline which was also promoted by another old parsi group belonging to the wadias the wadias control a huge business portfolio they own bombay dyeing they own burma trading corporation i think they own national peroxide they also own britannia all these are 100 year old companies and the wadias are a family which have dominated indian business for more than 250 years they have been original mill owners and before that they were ship builders and the century textiles was also a wadia group business where one of the wadia brothers sold it to kumar mangalam billa's grandfather bk billa and left the country so the real challenge for wadias was to keep the airlines going as a going concern one of wadias sons who started this company had resigned from the board and said he had nothing to do with this the wadias took this company public because they did not want to put more good money behind bad money the wadias are very strong business family with lot of personal wealth but do not want to put their money to run go airlines most of these aircrafts are airbus aircrafts the engines have to be supplied by pratt and whitney which is a european firm pratt and whitney were supposed to supply engines to these aircrafts pratt and whitney refuses to sell the engines because go air has not paid its dues go air in turn has gone to arbitration taken an order 
which says Patton Whitney has to service the engine. But Patton Whitney is refusing to supply engines. Not only supply engines, where engines are already supplied and but require spare parts to run, they are refusing to supply spare parts till the Wadia group pays them. Goers does not have enough money to play for these spares. In asking for the PAP PNW to give it on credit, PNW is not willing to give it on credit and there is a cash crunch. So for May 2nd and May 3rd, Goer has refused to book tickets and has gone for voluntary bankruptcy, saying that we do not have money. Basically, what they are trying to do is to cut the creditors and forcing the creditors to accept loss because the Vadias don't want to take the hit. What the judges rule, we do not know, but this is what has happened. Vadias are deep pocketed, can run this airline, are refusing to pay for bills which they committed and are citing a faulty arbitration order. Now, there is Jet Airways run by Naresh Goel, where a lot of people have accused Naresh Goel of siphoning out money of a public limited company, went bankrupt. And then it ran for 26 years, and then an unknown group took over it. It was India's largest airline. There were 20,000 staff. The staff have not been paid properly. An unknown Czech group tried to take it over and promised to run it. And then... They brought in a man called Sanjeev Kapoor, who was an ex-Tata man, to run this company. But from day one, I felt this company would not take off because the new promoters did not have enough money. And it looked like Naresh Goel making a backdoor entry. The payments could not be made. The airlines never took off and the CEO has resigned. So Jet is just dead and nearly 10,000 crores worth of loans granted by Indian banks is down the tube. So that is the second thing. Third thing you had, Kingfisher, which went bankrupt. Spicejet is being held by the threat of an air, which is also in serious trouble. Before that, we had East West, Dabania, a lot of airlines which have gone bankrupt, NEPC and all that. In the long run, in my opinion, India will have only two airlines. There will be Indigo and the Tatas. What the Tatas have done very cleverly is, they have yet taken Singapore Airlines as their partner with 25% of equity contribution. The balance 75 or 76 will come from the house of Tata's. They have merged all their airlines together, Air India, Vistara and Air India Express. My calculation is they will become second largest airline. They have placed orders for 470 aircrafts. When these aircrafts are delivered, Tata's will give a big challenge to Indigo. So India will become a two-race horse with SpiceJet and other airlines bringing up the balance. In my opinion, Tata's are more deep-pocketed than Indigo, but Indigo has the first more advantage. It will take a long time for Tata's to catch up. But for the next 10 years, the fight is going to be between Tata Group on one side and Indigo on the other side on who will dominate the market. The number of people flying may increase, but the two airlines will be the dominant airlines. I don't think Akasha will be able to make a dent because its biggest financier, Rakesh Junjunwala, is no more there. Its ability to attract money is extremely dicey and it requires huge amounts of capital to keep running this airline. As I pointed out, you require a forex hedge. Tata's have huge forex hedge with TCS, Tata Steel, Tata Motors and in fact 65% of their revenue comes from abroad. Not only that, they have a strong airline partner, which is a government airline. So the Tatas will be there for a long time. Indigo, a strong company, will remain. The rest will fall by the wayside. Retail investors should not invest both in Air India issue when it comes and the Indigo airline because you will definitely lose money on the long term. Warren Buffett set this rule, violated it, built up 5% positions on three airlines, made a heavy loss during covid sold its stock and said he violated the rule he himself said and was punished. Please avoid airline stocks at all costs. Thank you for watching. Paisa Bolta Hai Paisa Bolta Hai Ko Aapne Dekha Iske Liye Mein Mein Bhoot Abari Hoon Please like this video, press the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification. If you do not turn on the bell notification, you will not be notified every time we put out a video. Once again, I thank you for your support to Paisa Bolta.